Oh, you're out? Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm down, okay. I'll let you record it. Okay, great, great. You want me to take off that leash? Oh, that's fine. What are, okay, so what are their names? Uh, that, the, the big one is Kuma, mine is Lencha. Lin, Lincha? Lencha, yeah. Lincha. Does that name have like a meaning? Um, supposedly it means it likes females. Okay. But, but it's just it's just a nickname that I called it. Lincha. Oh, I see. It sounds like Mexican names. So oh, know. I see. And how old is she? She just turned uh, five months. Five months. Okay, Lincha did. And this one right here. That one's about uh, a, a year, I believe. A year. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you definitely... I know you said you're a trainer and everything, but once you get everything rolling, yeah, I'd love for you to come back and interview you and promote your business. That would be great, yeah, yeah. We can definitely work on a project like that. Yeah. It's a beautiful Belgian Malinois. So, you're, you're a Belgian Malinois, I don't know about this customers, but they're going to be trained in protection and all that? So, I have it as my service dog, and I also want, I also doing uh, implementing bite work. Okay. The thing is that, you can't really have a full bite work dog and have a a, 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 a service dog, a service at, the same dog time. at the same time. Oh, but okay. I'm gonna try to mix both worlds, and then in the future, her litter, I want to get only guard dogs and only um only therapy dogs. Oh wow! By their demeanor, by their demeanor. Okay. Yeah. So, how many years have you worked with Belgian Malinois? Because I know you were an apprentice under Tony, right? right. Yeah, um, to be honest with you, I, I only worked three three solid years with Belgian Malinois, oh, okay. but I've been working with, with dogs since I was okay. a little, little kid in Mexico. Okay, you know? okay. Now, okay, so the reason why I was asking that question is, you know, Belgian Malinois, they keep gaining in, in popularity, right? Correct. A correct. lot of people want them for want protection, them. right? Yeah. Uh, what would be your suggestion uh, to anyone who, who wants to get a Belgian Malinois, what can they expect? Um, basically, if if you if you if you want to have a uh, let me let me think about how much it. It's a lifestyle. So okay. if if you're ready to live that lifestyle mm -hmm. and you're committed, I I I I suggest get a dog like this because it's the top of the top of the dogs right but if you don't have the knowledge or the experience mm -hmm. or the time to work right. with with this type of dog i suggest getting a different breed i see i see yeah. and and the owner what sort of personality should the owner have do you have to have stern but firm I, leadership with this with that? this breed is alpha personality because they're that smart that they could take over you. Not take over you, but learn how to get around you and right. manipulate, manipulate you. you, correct. So alpha personality for sure. You don't have to be strong. You don't have to be uh, uh, phys your physique strong, but just uh, be smart how you turn it down. Right. So basically right now my dog is, is just implementing um, uh, how to defend himself. Okay. Because I mean, there's gonna be a point in time when a dog actually does to the does right. this to him. So he has to be prepared how to react, not to get scared, not to fight back, mm -hmm. and this kind of helps them build up their build up their confidence. Right. And that's that's why I let them bite like that. Okay. Some owners they don't like that, and right. that's when I separate them. Right. Yeah, if it was hurting the dog. Obviously, you would hear them vocalize. Correct, correct. Or you would hear, you would just see them latch on, and right. they wouldn't let go. Right. It's just, it's just tough love. What the heck? Did you say hi to her? Did you say hi to her? Well, they're beautiful. Thank you for sharing about yeah, thank them. Thank you, Bob. All right, take care. <laughs> <laughs> I guess they're going to play all the way out the door.
Brody, come! Come on, Brody! Come on, Brody! Yeah, I'm over here. You're so busy gopher hunting, you lost track of me, huh? Good boy. Thank you. You have a good day. Okay, Talk you then. too. Hope to see you around. All right. Oh, here comes another Belgian. Yeah, that's a nice looking one. That one's pretty tall too. Beautiful. You have a beautiful dog. He is really tall. <laughs> oh, Leia, female. Yeah. Oh, okay. Come on. No, 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 no. Come on. Beautiful. There, Look at those him. legs. <laughs> Come on. <Damn. laughs> She's scared. Oh no, she barks, but as soon as she gets like close to another dog, she gets all scared. Come on, go make some friends. Those legs look like they belong on the Greyhound. I was gonna say the same thing for a great day. <laughs> come on, come on, girl. That's gonna be some good footage. Isn't it? Yeah. She's a little bit shy, huh? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go make some friends. <laughs> How old is she? About two and a half years. Oh, okay. Uh, she's already starting to foam, I see. She gets so nervous and shy. Timid, huh? Oh, yeah. She loves people. Hey, here. But she's so. Uh... No, 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 no. We're not going to eat. You know what? Just looking at her, she looks really fast. She's very agile. Okay. Yeah. Because uh, those long legs and, of course, the deep chest and small waist, oh, that just says speed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I uh, I don't. I try not to like train her or kind of show her the jump things because oh, she can clear my backyard. Floor. Right. She could, he, she could clear this right now. This fan. If she really wanted to, and like thunder or lightning, or whatever. Oh, she could. Cl she could clearly jump over any wall in our backyard. Wow. I just. I'm just glad she doesn't know potential looks, yet. Looks like she could finish one of the Olympics this year. <laughs> <laughs> like your. Uh, I like your Belgians too, they look awesome, man. Yeah, that's in my client, but this is nice. Oh. Come on, Bodhi! Come on, Bodhi! Come on, Bodhi, you can make it. Come on, Bodhi, this way. I oh, changed his mind, too much opposition. Bodhi, come on! Let's go, this way. Bodhi, come! Bodhi, come! Come on! Good boy. All right. Hey, I thought you. I thought I told you to find a new hobby. Go. Okay, you too. Any idea how tall your dog is? No, I don't take measure. Okay. I know how much she weighs though, like sixty something pounds. Oh, okay. It's just, I've, I've seen a lot of Belgian Malinois, <laughs> but legs that long and that tall, I don't think I've seen one like that. Yeah, her parents are really tall. Oh, okay. Oh, man. Don't worry, she's not rabid. Just, I know. She's, yeah. just, she's just very nervous and shy, yeah. so she gets so anxious. You guys are out? Yep. Okay. Take care. Right. But I don't know. What do you think? What do you think? Yeah, we were just, uh, for those of you uh, who missed what we were first talking about, we were actually talking about the time change. Yeah, we were talking about the time change and how irritated by it we are because the Senate just passed.
a time change law, but the question is, does that mean that every state has to follow it? I would hope not. It just yeah. doesn't seem plausible, especially because, like I said, like people in the Midwest, their kids be waiting in the dark to go on a school bus. Right. And that's like their coldest months. Right. You know, so it's like you expect five-year-olds to be out in the frost for what? You, I'm, I'm not sure if you're aware, but actually California voters actually... Uh, voted to pass a bill to eliminate eliminate the time change in California but and that was like three years ago yeah. but the thing is the California legislature can't make up their mind to have it permanently one hour back or permanently one hour forward and that's why it's stalled it would be stalled only because since we're the majority of like business corporations and yeah. we have to make the calls towards the east coast right. that's where it throws us off because right. it's like realistically can yeah. we shift everyone else to join us in our time slot yeah. i mean like we do with tv sometimes yeah or is it going to be the latter right so. but they but they say they can't make up their minds and i'm just like flip the coin Flip a coin. It's that simple. I mean, I don't have an issue with putting it back and forward. It doesn't, yeah. it doesn't cause me an issue to spend five minutes out of my day to just change a clock. But yeah. I mean, well, I mean, like, the physical aspects. Yeah. It makes, you know, people tired. There's more uh, heart attacks on that day. There's more car accidents, that sort of thing. But anyways, I'm not going to talk about that anymore. I'm sure it just annoyed a lot of people watching. I know. <laughs> by well, talking we're, about we're that. we're about it, so. And then everyone's talking about the whole gas thing. Yeah. It's not us. It's the gas uh, people. They're putting a, a cushion. I'm like, mm. Do you know what I've been trying to do? And for those of you watching at home, this dog related. I'm using doggy power to get around. I use Bodhi on the bike to get me to places as, as much as I can. I'm still trying to figure out the grocery store situation uh. because I can't really leave him outside with the bike, you know, because somebody might you know doggy nap him but uh as far as other places like for instance i took my van to the shop and i left it there and i biked home that was about five miles so so yeah if i figure out how to use him for my main transportation that would be great it would save me i don't know because well, like well, you mostly just have to exercise him right that's the whole yeah, thing. I use yeah. I use it to exercise them. The problem is I can't do it too much yeah. because we're talking about cement. You know, running on pavement. So running on pavement too often, it you know, and for long distances. And right. Yeah. It's well, it's joints. You got to think about like long, long term, uh, the long term health of the dog with the joints. But is that because we're pulling back on them, we can't keep up, or is it because? Okay, so the thing with the what I'm talking about, the joints, is running on pavement. Yeah. Yeah. So if you've ever known someone who, who jogs, mm -hmm. you know, as a runner, and they've ran for years and years, they start to get all kinds of, like, knees and ankle yeah, problems. Yeah, because that's on them for their own weight. Uh, right. Constantly. Just the pavement, yeah. you know, running on it. So that's why I try to limit how, how often I bike him and how far, because... Eventually, you know, all this that pounding on the pavement. Oh, you know, I think I'm thinking about the hip dysplasia because oh, sometimes when yeah. you're running with your dog, you're pulling back on them because you I can't see. keep up. Right. Because they have a longer right. stride because they yeah. leap yeah. versus like us taking like, you know, multiple steps. Yeah. Well, what, what, what I love about it is that he pulls me and it's it's almost like a thrill ride <laughs> when he's, when he's uh, pulling. So I saw a girl, she has three or four Siberian Huskies and what yeah. she would do... She got herself a go kart, and in the oh, morning, wow. she just ties them to like I guess something on the car, yeah. like a little go kart, and she just takes off. Yeah. And she's like, and if I really felt like she's like, I guess like you know, in, in Laverne, there's some neighborhoods that okay. have golf course, yeah. grass everywhere. Right. You can just drive your golf caddy through it. She's like, why wouldn't I just attach it to my golf caddy and run okay. through the golf course yeah. in the morning before people come golfing? She's like, so I wake up every morning at 6 o'clock before the sun rises yeah. and take them on a 30 minute run yeah. in the grass and we're a-okay. She's like, because you know Huskies have like the high, high, uh, you know, Yeah, they, they level. exactly, so long distance runners. So she's like, it works runners, for me yeah. because she's like, I can take it for 15, 20, 30 minutes going at their speed versus right. my speed. So exactly. it wouldn't really be an hour, exactly. it would be 15 minutes in the morning and they're set. Now when, when you, when you bike or like the girl with the go-kart, when you have them like that and they're pulling you, is that called, is it called bjorking or something like that? 
I believe so, yeah. Is it called Bjorking? Bjorking? Because I, I think of that singer named Bjork, but but <laughs> Bjorking, something like that. Maybe uh, watching that at home, maybe you know what it is. But yeah. yeah, you have the harness on your dog and it's out front and they pull you, which looks super awesome. I use the walkie dog myself. Yeah. And he just, I have a harness on him How's and he going? pulls me. It is, it's a lot of fun. You if you win? haven't tried it, I highly recommend it. <laughs> I never expected to see you here. Yeah, I, got, I just got a dog recently. Uh, that's, that's mine right there. Hold up. Yeah, yeah. What's up, man? Yeah. Bodhi! Bodhi, come! Yeah, is this the first time you came? Or? No. I think this is about five. Come on, Bodhi! Oh, yeah? Okay. Yeah, Bodhi! Here. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming here for Come on, Bodhi! Good boy! Bodhi, come! Bodhi! Come on! All right, no rope toy, huh? Baldy, come on. No. Let's go. Up. Good boy. Sit. Hey. Shh. Go ahead, sit. No. Stay. Okay, that's going to wrap up today's video. Bodhi and I, we want to thank you all for watching. If you can, please uh, give it a thumbs up. Also, leave a comment or question below. If you are subscribed, we would love to have you as a subscriber. Um, also, we want to thank everyone who watches the ads that help support Bodhi, and we appreciate it so much. And also, everyone who's pressed... Uh, the thanks button who has donated to Bodhi. We thank you so much for that. And before we go, we want to thank a few past viewers who left comments. Rosalie Drager. Uh, let's see here. Nico Shea, Diane, Rick Montgomery, Karen Matthews, Chris Teldon, John Denmark, Sabine Farber, Safankis, Rebecca Zimmerman. Thank you so much. We really appreciate all your comments. So until next time, uh, Bodhi and I, we hope we'll see you on the next episode of Bodhi's World. Everyone take care.